I think the whole agenda of nationalized health care is all about abortion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's all about abortion. And, and I, one thing I fear is that if this is done, it, it, with or without abortion, it's just going to be a stroke of a bureaucrat's pen to put abortion into Back it. In. So we've Absolutely. got to fight it. Whether they say it's going to be in there or they say it's going right. to be out, we've got to fight it tooth and toenail. And it's all about the culture of death, too, if you yes. look at the rationing and the devaluing right. of human life. Well, you know, if you look at the British system of how they measure your life in terms of qualities, and, yeah. well, you really can't get that life-saving drug because you really only have expected two to three years of well, life, and it's not worth the cost. People all over the United States are saying we'll have to ration health care mm -hmm. because it'll bankrupt. Well, it's going to bankrupt us anyway if we do it. And ration is here as me because you know how I think who's going to be the first people to get rationed out. Yeah, you know, folks, is that what you're thinking? black folks, old folks, <laughs> blacks and freeborn babies, babies. Yeah. freeborn babies. I right. mean, no. imagine my family. We, my wife goes in and says, "Look, I've got five children already. Uh, I'm pregnant again." They're going to say, "Well, you know what? Take this pill. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to put you." Uh, the only thing we're going to give you, not a live birth, but is an, an well, abortion because you're a burden to society. In Great Britain, Belgium, where you have to have <clears throat> prenatal testing, and then you are required right. to have an abortion if your child has Down, cystic fibrosis, you're required whatever. required to have an abortion? Because you and can't they, you foster that have, off on the taxpayer. If you don't have the abortion, and I know in Belgium, for example, a man had a daughter had Down syndrome, and they told him they would have to have abortion. He said, no, he has to pay for all of her medical care. The state won't, the government won't pay for it because they, they said we pay for the abortion. Mm -hmm. But, Kristen, it goes beyond that because, in, and I know in, in this, you're right about Belgium, but in Finland, for example, I watched one of these cases where not only the parents told you must have an abortion because you can't push that child off onto the taxpayer, if you can't demonstrate that you can pay for it, then, you, then they, they have the threat to forcibly abort you because it's one thing to step up and say, okay, I'll pay for my child, and then them come back and say, okay, Demonstrate to us this child is going to cost $150,000 a year. Mm -hmm. Demonstrate to us that you can pay $150,000 a year or you're still in the same boat. Mm -hmm. And if you don't think that that's going to come right here, I promise you, 100%, yeah, it will be and right here. This new prenatal test, I was reading a story about that's going to test for all these genetic markers. Right. And I'll be able to tell you what's your predisposition mm -hmm. to a certain cancer. And right. it's going to test like over 2,000 different things oh in this goodness. test. So can you imagine what that's going to do when you look at the state run health care? And who has the right to have that information? Oh. That's the, the big question. Have it. Right. So if you listen to what Obama and the Democrats are saying, is they want to put all this information into government computers right. to keep track of all of this. Right. And that's why GE is behind us because they're going to build the technology to do this. Oh, sure. So the state's going to know, like the state already knows, Gunnar Hawkins lives this street in West Virginia. He has cystic fibrosis. So if they want to round everybody up with a certain disease, they already know where you're at. Right. Wow. And you know, when you say these things, Kristen, people think, oh, wait a minute, you're nuts. They're not going to start rounding people up. Let me tell you. <laughs> right now, we could, we could sit here and make a list of 10 things that are going on in this country right now that everybody knows are going on, abortion and, and all the other things that are associated with life issues. You could take that list back 50 years ago and tell people this is what's going to happen 50 years from now in the United States, and they'd lock you up because mm -hmm. they think you were. Think it was coming. Yeah, I mean, that's right. It's, it's 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 a very scary slope, and the fact is they're already rationing care now. We can't say this is going to lead the rationing. This is just going to be government mandated rationing. There's right. already rationing now. I had a dinner with a woman last week. Her son has trisomy 18, which is a more severe form, basically, of Down syndrome, mm -hmm. and she was told did not have the prenatal testing. They told her, um, well, you know, after he was born. They were there trying to save Peter, couldn't find out what was wrong with Peter. Um, two days later, the test came back positive. And they said, well, you know, now you should just let him die. And she had six different doctors come into her hospital bed telling her why she just should let Peter die. And she said, but you, want, you wanted him to live two days ago. You got his surgery. But now once you found that he has trisomy 18, you don't want to save him anymore. Right. Well, again, and you're like, well, no, he's a burden to society.